My call into missionary service was as earth-shattering as it was unexpected. It happened some 50 years ago at a United Methodist camp meeting not so unlike here at Lakeside when the missionary gave a call into full-time Christian service that just seared itself into my heart and my soul. God was calling me, me, Steve Quigg, a, a nerdy kid from nowhere, into Christian service as a missionary that would start a journey that would forever change my life and in some small way, the lives of the people around me. For the last 40 years, my wife, Gail, and I have been on part of that journey in missionary service with Global Ministries. We've come together this afternoon to bless Sammy and Nathan Whitfield to be presenting to you today as brand new Global Mission Fellows. Global Mission Fellows are young adults in this church who see the injustice that's happened in this world and want to do something about it. They come from everywhere, go everywhere, transporting themselves and their message beyond geographic and cultural boundaries. They connect our church and mission to make us a part of the worldwide gospel sharing of mission of Jesus Christ. Today, a third, a third of all United Methodist missionaries are global mission fellows. It's a two-year program. The young adults are provided with training, a stipend, health benefits, and even some college loan deferment. But most of all, it provides them with a platform for them to live into their, their, uh, their baptismal vows and say to the world that it is not okay to live in a world with injustice. So we go before you today to bless Nathan and Sammy. Good afternoon. My name is Greg Hundeman and I have the honor of serving as pastor at the United Methodist Church for All People. And it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you Nathan and Sammy Woodford. <laughs> Sammy first came to work for our church as a social work intern and it quickly became apparent to me that she stood out from the crowd. She's a very hard worker, detail-oriented, analytical, but what really made her stand out from other interns is her faith. The remarkable thing about Sammy is she didn't grow up in the faith. She didn't hear the stories as a child. It wasn't until she went to college and her friends shared with her the love of Jesus Christ. And yet at the end of her internship for social work, she did a second internship as a pastoral intern with us. She didn't hear all the stories that we heard, but at the Church for All People, she experienced God's grace. She experienced what it meant to live in a diverse community and what it looked like to work for justice. And not only did she touch the lives of everyone around her, but she was transformed. And so what does she do when she's transformed? She tells her boyfriend, then fiance, and now husband, Nathan, about our church. Nathan came to us as a VISTA worker through AmeriCorps. If you know anything about AmeriCorps VISTA workers, they don't get a salary. They receive a very small stipend. And yet on his own, Nathan volunteered for a second year to serve resourcing our healthy eating and living program and creating our newest initiative that we just launched last week, All People Arts. Nathan is also a person of deep faith. His background was working in things like sales and pawn shops, and yet he knew that God was calling him to more. And it was through the experiences that he had and the relationships that were built at the Church for All People where he again was transformed. When they both came to us, they both expressed to me the desire to spend a life working in ministry, and now that opportunity has come together. And so I present to you the West Ohio Conference, your newest missionaries and Global Mission Fellows, Nathan and Sammy Woodford.
you will have a wonderful opportunity in the years ahead to come alongside Nate and Sammy because they're not going to be working in some remote exotic location overseas. They're just going to be up the road in Detroit. So get your act together, get your people together, go visit them, be a part of their work, see them in action, join in in what they're doing. Invite them to your congregation so that they can share their passion and their vision for reaching out into this hurting world for Jesus Christ with your congregation and get them excited. And for God's sake, for God's sake, <laughs> get behind them financially so that their work <laughs> can become a part of your work. I have to confess that today is a very holy and poignant motion, uh, moment for me because Gail and I are the longest serving active United Methodist missionaries working with Global Ministries right now. Yeah, if you, if you use enough qualifiers, you can be first at anything, right? <laughs> so here we are. But for 40 years, we've been serving with Global Ministries and now the longest serving missionary gets to bless the newest missionary. The cycle comes full circle. So the call in the missionary service is as old as Saul's road to Damascus experience, as relevant as John Stewart going to the Wyandotte Indian nation in Upper Sandusky 200 years ago, and as vibrant and as real as a Whitford's being blessed today. Now it's time to bless them so that they can be a blessing on your behalf, on God's behalf, to the world around us. Let's do it. Just Gracious and loving God, we thank thee for these your servants, Sammy and Nathan, for their faith, for their narrative of transformation, for their witness in word and in deed. And as they engage in the next season of their mission and ministry in Detroit, we pray, O oh God, that you would equip them with every good thing that they need. Raise up friends for them, open doors from them that no one can shut. Surround them with our love and the love of a new community. Meet and supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory and protect them from hurt, harm, or danger and free them from the burdens and cares and worries of the things of this world, knowing that they have sufficient and more and have been set free to serve with reckless abandon to straighten out the crooked plumb line in so many people's lives and communities that they will touch. Bless them, keep them, use them, beyond their wildest imagination and make of them for us all models of mission and ministry and healing and justice in a world so desperate for all of these and so lacking in hope. We ask this boldly with confident expectation that already this prayer is being answered as you see fit, O oh God, in the strong name of your Son, our Savior, our exemplar, and our friend, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. God.